Hi, in this video, I will discuss to you the binomial system of nomenclature. Let's begin first with its origin. Nomenclature comes from two Latin words, nomen, which means name, and clare, means call. So nomenclature is the system which is responsible for giving name to an organism. To make it short, nomenclature means to call by name. As common names are not authentic and cannot be used for scientific purposes because these names change from language to language, Carolus Linnaeus in 1758 proposed the system of naming to each organism which is now called as the binomial system of nomenclature, which means the reason why Carolus Linnaeus proposed the binomial system of nomenclature is because the common names of organism cannot be used for scientific purposes. It cannot be used for scientific purposes because common names of organism is different from one place to another depending on the language of that specific place. So the binomial system of nomenclature is the naming system we are still using today. Organisms were named and their name consists of two parts. Example is the scientific name of rice which is the Oryza sativa. So the first part of the name indicates the genus and the second part of the name indicates the species from which the organism belong and is also known as the specific epithet. So in the scientific name of rice, which is the Oryza sativa, Oryza is the genus and the specific epithet is the sativa. So let's proceed with the rules in naming organism. The first letter of the genus should always start with capital letter. The species name is always written in small letter and both parts of the name should be italicized in print and underlined when handwritten. Example is shown below. So Moringa olifera is the scientific name of your malungay. Another rule, scientific names are often abbreviated using the first letter of the first name a period, and the whole second name. Example, B. balsamifera. So it is the scientific name of your sambong, Blumea balsamifera. Next is the essential requirements in naming organism. So there are three most important requisites which should be in mind before giving any name to organism. It should be unique, universal, and stable. When you say unique, the scientific name should be unique and individual. It must be the only name within that nomenclature. Next, universal. The scientific name should be universal and acceptable throughout the world and biological societies. Ordinary names cannot be used in nomenclature because it is very difficult for taxonomists to learn names in ordinary language. As I said earlier, ordinary names are not encouraged to be used as scientific name because ordinary names of an organism may vary from one place to another depending on the language being used, so it will be difficult for taxonomists. Lastly is stability. It should be stable and authentic and cannot be changeable. Scientific name is the key to information about a particular organism. Therefore, even the principle of priority can be set aside by the internal commission, which means the scientific name of an organism may serve as a guide about the information for that specific organism. Examples of this are the following. So first, we have list of some of the commonly used specific epithet which is related to the characteristics of plant. Examples, acutifolia means sharp, pointed leaflets. 
angustifolia means narrow leaflets. Maculatum, maculate, means there is presence or describing the leaves of it as spotted. Glabra, from the Latin word glabber, which means smooth, so describing the leaf of it as smooth. Serratifolia, or serrat, means the leaves are marginated. Fastigiata means the plant is tall, slender, and upright. Prostrata means the plant is creeping. And last one, rotonda or rotondifolia means the leaves are round-shaped. Next is we have plants named according to its characteristic color. Nigrum or nigra means black. Purpurea means purple. Lutea means yellow. Alba means white. Aurea or aureo means golden. Glocca means blue tinted leaf color. Rubra means red. And tricolor means representing a tree color blend. So some aromatic plants are also named according to its properties. Fragrance and aromaticus means having a fragrant odor. We also have organisms named according to its geographical source. Zeylanicum means from Ceylon. Indica means from India. Canadensis means from Canada. And Maritima means near the coast. Some organisms are also named based on its pharmacological activity. Some of these are the following. Somniferum means this plant can induce sleeping. Vesicatorium means this plant can cause blistering. Nox vomica, this plant can induce vomiting. And purge means this plant is a purgative. Lastly, we have organisms in which their specific epithet have a general meaning. Sativum means cultivated, usitatissimum means most useful, and lastly, vulgare, which means the plant is wild. So that would be all for this topic, and see you on the next video.